Welcome to our channel. This video is part of series of videos where we try to explain the basic working of a brushless motor. and an electronic speed controller. We will also go in depth to analyze the control signals and the motor coil voltage profiles. This is the brushless speed control box. We will use this to vary the speed of the brushless motor. This is the A2212 brushless motor. It is one of the cheapest and most versatile brushless motors available in the market. The brushless motor has a outrunning rotor, which has permanent magnets attached to it, and a fixed stator which has coils wound on it. By successively providing voltage to coil A, B, and C, a rotating magnetic field is created, which makes the rotor to rotate. When the motor is rated as 1000 kV, it means that when one volt is applied at it, the motor will rotate at 1000 revolutions per minute. Similarly, when two volts is applied at it, the motor will rotate at 2000 revolutions per minute. The brushless motor works with 2S and 3S battery. It can handle 13 amps of current for 60 seconds. Electronic speed controller helps to create a rotating magnetic field. It has three outputs A, B, and C. Dot these are connected to brushless motor inputs A, B and C. The red wire is a regulated power output, of 5 volts. And the white wire, is the input signal to control the ESC. And black wire is ground. The electronic speed controller has three outputs, which is directly connected to the brushless motor. Dot on the input side, the ESC is connected by thick wires to the battery. Another output of the ESC, is a regulated 5 volt supply. Which can be used to power the control box, or any other microcontroller, which control the ESC. We need to provide an input control signal, to make the electronic speed controller, to work. The control signal is a pulse width modulated signal. When the on time, of this signal is 1 millisecond. The ESC, turns off, the brushless motor. When the on time, of this signal is 2 millisecond. The ESC, turns the brushless motor, at its maximum speed. The time between consecutive pulses, is called as time period. The inverse of time period is frequency. Here the time period of the control signal from the control box is 20 milliseconds, which is a frequency of 50 hertz. Let's connect all of the, the devices together. By varying the knob of the control box, we can vary the speed of the brushless motor.
By interchanging the wires of the brushless motor, the direction of the rotation of magnetic field can be changed, which makes the motor rotate in the opposite direction. Here we observe that the no load current is close to 0.5 amps, as mentioned in the data sheet. Let's observe the control signal, generated by the control box, with an oscilloscope. The control signal line, and the ground line, is connected to the probe. One division on the LCD screen is equal to 5 milliseconds. We can see a pulse with on time of 1 millisecond, repeating every 20 milliseconds. Motor is not rotating in this state. As we try to increase the speed of the motor, we can see that the pulse on time of 1 millisecond is increasing. Motor is now rotating in this state. As we try to decrease the speed of the motor, we can see that the pulse, on time is decreasing. Motor is now slowing down. When we gradually reduce the speed of the motor, we can observe that, the pulse width on time, has reduced to 1 millisecond. Motor is not rotating in this state. When we increase the speed of the motor, we can see that, pulse with on time, of 2 milliseconds, now motor is rotating its maximum speed. From the control box, also called as the servo tester, we see that at minimum speed, on time was 1 millisecond. The off time of the pulse was 19 milliseconds. So the total time period of the pulse is 1 millisecond, plus 19 milliseconds, which equals to 20 milliseconds. The percentage duty cycle of the PWM signal for minimum speed is, on time of the pulse, divided by, the total time period of the signal, in percentage. So in this case we get, 1 millisecond, divided by 20 milliseconds, which equals to 5%. The frequency of the signal is 1 divided by total time period of 20 milliseconds, which is, 50 Hz. Similarly we see that at maximum speed, on time was 2 millisecond. The off time of the pulse was 18 milliseconds. So the total time period of the pulse is 2 millisecond, plus 18 milliseconds, which equals to 20 milliseconds. The percentage duty cycle of the PWM signal for maximum speed is, on time of the pulse, divided by, the total time period of the signal, which is 10%. Let's observe the signal between two phases, of the brushless motor. By connecting the probe across two lines of the brushless motor. As motor speed increases, we see the frequency of the voltage across two wires of the brushless motor also increases. This is a pulse generator board. We can vary the frequency and duty cycle of a square wave with this board. Let's connect this to the ESC instead of the control box so that we can find out the influence of frequency of control signal on the brushless motor. 
Now the PWM signal is set to a frequency of 50 Hz, and we try to vary in the duty cycle, from 1% to 4%. At 5% motor starts to turn, which is 1 milliseconds on time of the pulse. At 15% duty cycle of the pulse, the motor starts to shut off, which is 3 milliseconds on time of pulse. At 50 Hz control frequency, speed of the motor can be varied from 5% duty cycle and 10% duty cycle. At 100 Hz control frequency, motor speed can be varied from 10% to 20% duty cycle. We observe with higher control signal frequency, we have more room for better control of motor. Since we have increased the rate at which it is being controlled. Higher control signal frequency is useful in applications, like drone where precise control is required. When frequency is more than 500 Hz, that is, time period is less than 2 milliseconds, still the motor will work, but maximum speed will be limited. In our next video, we will learn how to control frequency, and achieve better control of motor with a microcontroller. We will try to program and achieve a precise control of the brushless motor. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.